Okay, I'm just going to show you how to use a really cool little add-on um, which is on the official Kodi repo. It's been around for a few years now. Uh, brilliant add-on and it will allow you to map different buttons to uh, different things basically. So uh, if you're limited on your buttons on your remote um, and you want to access certain features quickly um, you can remap that remote um, and, and make it do things. Uh, so let's, well first of all, let's install the add-on. So you go to add-ons, uh, click on the, oops, click on that download one at the bottom. And as I say, it's in the official Kodi repo, so you don't need to be adding extra sources and things like that. You just come down to program add-ons, and then we want key map editor. Um, by the way, if you're using a keyboard and you want to know how to uh, quickly jump to a letter, like I just did there for long lists, it's shift and then whatever letter you want. So K in my case. Um, so I'm going to click on that. Click install. So that's installed. What I'm also going to do while we're at it is just put some random uh, video add-ons on here as well. Um, I, I don't know what works, what doesn't work. I'm just going to install just a handful just so I can show you another one of the features. Um, do that one. And YouTube. Let's see, are they installed? Yep. Just get rid of this nag screen at the start. Okay. So we've got some add ons there. Now, let's go to our program add ons and click on. Uh, key map editor you want edit and now you've got a list of uh, different menus here I, I know this can look confusing don't worry it's, it's not as confusing as you may think um, generally speaking you're gonna only want to use the global one unless you're getting a little bit more uh, technical a uh, bit more advanced uh, and then what you can do is uh, basically the global one you would set let's say for example uh, you've got a button that you want to map uh, as the context menu button, the one that brings up the little uh, uh, menu where you can choose add-on settings, add-on information, and uh, you know all the hidden good hidden uh, Kodi gems. Um, let's say you want to map a button to that, but you also want that button to double up and do something completely different if you're in a different menu. So, for example, the home menu, you could you could make it uh, perform a different task if you're in the home screen um, or if you're in live TV. So very configurable. Um, it means you can have a, no matter how rubbish your remote is, if it's only got like six or seven buttons or whatever, you can still do quite a lot with it. Um, you can really configure it depending on which, uh, which section of uh, Kodi you're in. But this is only a short quick vid. So let's do global. Uh, the one a lot of you are probably gonna um, need, well, I wouldn't say a lot, but uh, if you're going to need this, there's a good chance you've installed it because you can't access the context menu. Um, this used to be a big problem back in the day, um, but in the you know past few years, uh, hardware suppliers have you know generally optimized their uh, their system so that it works well with Kodi because it's such a popular uh, uh, application now. But um, not all the time does the context menu work. So if that's the case, click on navigation, go down to, down in the bottom somewhere, there you go, context menu. Click on that, click edit key. You'll have a few seconds to press the button you want. So I'm going to press C. I know it's C already, but uh, what you can see is it's changed now. It did say C, and now it's got the actual physical code, the button code for C on my uh, keyboard. So if you would have pressed a button, um, it would it would have that button code, whatever that is. Now, when you do that, be very careful um, not to press up, down, left, right, or OK um, when it's when it's asking you to press the button. If you do, don't worry, it's not a big problem, so long as you don't save these settings, okay? Um, otherwise, you know. If you accidentally set it to the OK button, 
you're not going to be able to uh, click on anything in Kodi, so that would be a bit of a nightmare. Uh, so to make that stick, our change, we just come out, come out a bit more, and again, and we're back at the start, we just want to click on save. Okay, and that's it, and now you can use your, your button to um, open up the context menu. Now let's go back in there, another thing you might find useful, um, I certainly find it useful, is global, down the bottom, other. Now, I've found a lot of remotes do not have the option to take a screenshot. Um, you know, if you're asking for help on a forum, it's very rare someone's going to ask you for a screenshot on a forum, but you might have a problem that you find difficult to explain. So a screenshot, you know, that can tell a thousand words sometimes. So it's very handy and it saves you getting your camera out and then getting glare and on the screen and, and people can't see it. Um, yeah, this is, this is a great way of doing it. So take a screenshot. Um, it's set as S at the minute. So if I click on there, it's exactly the same process. I'm just going to change that to L. Okay, there you go. So you've got your code down there. And um, one last thing that you may or may not find useful. Um, if you've got a remote which has a load of buttons that are just unused, um, you know, they're not mapped to anything, you think, oh, that'd be handy to have that opening into such and such add-on. Um, you can do that. So you can click on add-ons, and this is why I installed those add-ons earlier. So you can choose to open into whatever you want. So I'm going to say, okay, I want YouTube. Um, let's edit the key. I'm going to press Y. And there you go. That's there. So I can come back out now. Come back out. Don't forget to hit save. Right, so now, doesn't matter where I am in Kodi, if I press Y, there you go. We've got YouTube. L, there you go, it's brought up the screenshot, it just tells me where do I want to save it, and uh, and that save it in that folder, um, and yeah, that's, you know, that's pretty much it, so really, really powerful add-on that, uh, very useful, can be used, uh, you know, as simply as you want, or as complex as you want, there's so much you can do with it, but uh, yeah, uh, have fun with it, and Hopefully uh, that'll uh, get a few people out of uh, mischief with their uh, dodgy context menu buttons. All right, take care, everyone.